Guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we just crushed it. We got into 17, and um, it was all because of this one specific thing that we unlocked, building health. So we're going to go over the tech tree. We're going to go over uh, the attacks. I got a new base set up here. Guys, you do find these videos help you out. I do appreciate it if you use the guy right down here, the code chicken, in the shop. If you're going to grab instant training or anything else for this season and of course don't forget to subscribe because we're posting warships each and every single day going to keep you up to date on the latest metas you know whether you're far ahead falling behind whatever you know um the tips will help you out because i mean once we kind of carve out the the best path i know it's not the best for everyone in all situations but it can at least give you the groundwork and a good idea of what you need to shoot for um regardless of where you are in the tech tree so let's start with that now um so uh, there's a couple different things that are good right now if you're three engines it, build up your defenses just build up your defenses get the building health that's huge um and you know you're gonna be okay if you can add cannons and have building health and be at three engines you're fine now for me i went up i skipped ahead i went to barrage um and then i came back just now and i got the building health and i just had enough key how many times does that happen where you just have enough keys to do something um today i got 66 keys and that was literally just enough to go from medkit to sniper tower to building health. It seems like 99.9% .9 of the time, you're always like two to three keys short. At least in my experience anyway. So, it's pretty happy that that worked out. And, um, yeah, we were able to push forward a little bit. I don't know where we're at on the leaderboards here. Number eight, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, number one in the task force, always take those bragging rights. Um, Alright, so let's grab this chest and let's just kind of plan here. Now, I only have 20 keys at the moment. But what I'm thinking next is I'm going to go for cannons. I'd love to go for cannons and to be able to max them out. I think that would be pretty ideal. Um, but for the time being, I'm thinking uh, what's going to help us out. Uh, Gumboat Energy is going to help us out. The Troop Health is going to help us out. It's kind of one of those things. Um, yeah, and we've, the cannons aren't going to be crazy expensive. By the time we're able to get there tomorrow, we're going to be able to uh, max them out. No problem. I would like to max out barrage because now it costs four barrage take down an engine room instead of three but i think the safe bet is to uh to max out the troop health so let's go with that for right now um yeah that's gonna help especially with the extra building health against all these bases that we're facing let's just get into some battles here guys so i'm still using heavies uh, a lot of guys are using uh heavies and zookas um i probably will have to switch to that at some point but for right now um basically the way i'm attacking since I have critters too, is um, you know we'll use barrage to take out one engine, depending on if they have building health. If they have building health, we we'll use barrage on one engine, and then maybe a bucket of critters, and that's probably all, all we'll have. The rest is just a heavy rush. Um, so as long as you're not heavy rushing like around the entire map, it's still a good strategy for right now. It's still fast enough to win. Um, it's not you know blow you away crazy, but it's uh, it's what we're working with for the time being. Um, okay, so this one let's go up on this side. I find what makes sense is to, um, not all the time, but sometimes just bypass those little defenses. He's got a, a pretty low level sniper tower there, so that's not going to slow us down at all. Um, but yeah, so right out of the gates, we're going to go ahead, we're going to let the heavies do their thing. We're going to go over here, we're going to go one, two, three. I forgot to check if he has building health. Looks like he does, uh, which is fine, most of the guys up here now do. So then from here, we're just letting the heavies free clear do their thing. And once we have our engines down, most of the, you know, tough defenses out of the way, then we can go ahead and uh, we, can, we can start to just simply flare onto stuff. Now, I don't know if we need to shock here. I'll do it anyways. I just don't want the critters to go down and then just get poofed instantly by the microwaver. So um, let's go ahead and throw these guys in over here. I think we'll survive this. I think. <laughs> I'm hoping. Okay, let's shock here. I don't think we need to reflare. So I think we can shock there. And let's see what's gonna happen. Come on, heavies. Oh, we're gonna fizzle. Huh, that was surprising. I, I figured we we had plenty of juice left to left to take that down. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. I mean we might get lucky, but I doubt it. Uh let's see, he's got Zookas, so I think he's gonna be fine. Yeah, he's got us down. That's too bad, because if I had just played it safe, I probably would have won that, because he didn't really get, you know, a super quick time. But that's okay. 
That's okay. It is what it is. Wah, wah, back to 16. <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, I think the next play, when we get those cannons, that's really going to push us forward. I'm happy just to get to 17 for right now. So uh, if we lose all these next ones, that's okay. Um, you know. I was at 16, like just under 16, I think, like high 15 um, when we got the building health. Um, so yeah, uh, from there we, we got to 17. So now we're probably going to see the cap. It's not the building health, you know, I'm saying it's great and it's not. It, we, we just kind of hit that spot where we're going to start winning and losing versus just going on a huge run. Um, okay. This one, I think, let's go left. Let's go left, I think, here. Now let's see where they're going to go off the flag. They are going to go to the right, so let's flare them back this way. Down onto that sniper tower. We can go up here. One, two, three. And let the heavies do their thing as we come up. This guy does seem to have building health as well. Yeah, but we, we got that extra troop health though, so we should be able to, uh, we should be able to just kind of clear through these guys pretty, um, without too many issues. Right? That's the idea of getting the troop health, is uh, your troops are going to last a little bit longer. And going against the building health, it should be a bit of a smoother ride. Should be. Should be. You never know with warships. Okay. Uh, a shock there. That's a critter up here. And go like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. I need you there yesterday. We're going really slow. Okay, enough for shock. Not enough, not enough. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. These last two attacks, we did the same things we were doing before, and just everything's kind of slow motion. Yeah, 243 is not really ideal. I think it's just the building health. You know, it's going to slow you down a little bit. So let's, uh, before we go on a huge losing streak, let's show you <laughs> what we were doing before that was actually winning. This is my boss fight, too. Uh, to 17. You see, we're doing the exact same thing. Um, just flaring up and around. Uh, this guy did it the building health because it's going to take us the four barrage there. And uh, a, bas a basket of critters. So it's the same thing. It's the same idea. Um, it does work pretty well. You know, it's, it's just at the point now where it's going to be a little bit hit and miss. So um, we want to try to manage that as best we can. So let's try one more here. Well, maybe a couple more, but um, let's see how this is going to go. You guys let me know how you're making out down below in the comment section. Uh, if you do need some help, if you're struggling this season, make sure to join up the Discord server. we got some top guys in there now that uh, like to just chat and give you guys info. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd give some shoutouts, but I don't want to put them on the spot and make them feel like they have to help or anything like that. There's guys in there that are great that just love to help. So it's a good spot to be if you're if you're new or if you're, you're stuck or whatever. Um, you know, it, it's a good spot. I'm in there from time to time too. Uh, let's flare this way, chicken. We got a grappler over here, which is interesting. Let's go one, two, three. Yeah, I don't think the grappler is really that good. I mean, especially it's just kind of pulling them into nothing. I guess the idea is it just slows them down a little bit. Kind of silly. But if we can clear out all this and then rush those last two, I think we'll finally be in a decent position. I, I am going to have to clear out some other stuff. I think because we're going to want to have enough for a barrage and a critter. So there's our barrage. And yeah, okay. So let them take out a couple of things. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, flare, flare, flare. So trying to do it a little bit faster, a little bit more perfect. And okay. Shock here, shock here. We got that troop health working for us. No, sir. No, sir. Not enough. Well, I don't know what else we could have done differently on any of those attacks. I mean, <clears throat> that's what I've been doing to, you know, for the last hour or so to get it to 17 and work fine. But, ah, it's the video curse sometimes. Oh, okay. Never mind. There we go. Cool. Cool. Back to 17. That's what we like to see. So, yeah, there it is. Now, let's talk about the base for a sec. Let's talk about the base for a sec. So the the idea of this base is it's just got like uh, it's got three different three different points on it, right? So it's got the it's got the first point where you know it's going to be the barrage or the critter. Something's going to get taken out with barrage or with critters. Um, that's just going to happen. You have to give up like one or two of those spots. Try to make it tough. 
But the idea is by the time the heavies get into the center here, you see all the bases are laid out like this. Um, you make one kind of spot in the top corner that's basically impossible to, to uh, critter and you put two engines um, close together so that they, they can't, uh, they can't um, just barrage you out and not have to worry about that area. They put two down here and then from here, um, you know, the troops have to come in and then by this point they're taking a lot of splash damage, they're running over a lot of 